Hey there fellow wanderers, welcome back to our channel where we embark on an unforgivable journey to the world's most mesmerizing destinations. Where today we're about to set foot in one of Norway's hidden gems, the charming port of Flam. Nestled deep within a UNESCO listed fjord, this tiny fishing village is a testament to nature's grandeur and human ingenuity. With its dramatic landscapes, cascading waterfalls, and a railway that's nothing short of marvel. Flam promises an adventure like no other. So fasten your seatbelt for a journey through the heart of Norwegian beauty. And for those of you who haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you can join us on our future escapades. Now let us dive into the wonders of Flam. Good morning from Flam. We're in Flam, Norway today. That's it. And we just left the cruise ship. Where are we going? So today is our third and final day in Norway. Today we're going to take the Flom Railway and later this afternoon if we have time we're going to take uh, we're going to take a short hike to a waterfall which is just outside of town but as you can see it's another cold rainy day up here in Norway. Hopefully we get lucky when we go for our hike later and the rain breaks for a little bit. We're going to start this morning with just a little bit of a walk around town. It's yeah, not that shopping. big. A little bit of shopping. Just a small little town. So it's first time in Plum. Food stalls out here. It's part of the old rail cars, those are cool. Of course, Chris is doing some shopping. We got, I think about an hour or so, hour and a half before our train. Find some pants. From $199 is $159. Still expensive. <laughs> Another gift shop. Chris found these little mouse ornaments cute. Cute. So right off the cruise ship is the Flum Tickets and Visitor Center for the Flum train. Uh, we just booked it ourselves. So we're doing our own tour today, not off of the ship. And let's hope it goes okay. And always remember, when you're doing your own tour off the ship, you are responsible to get back on the ship by yourself. They will leave you behind. And if you take tours off the ship and they're late, then the ship waits for you. And our next port is Germany. So if we miss this one, this one, and we don't have the passport with us, we're gonna stay in Norway. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to see the museum. The Flom Museum. Let's go check it out. That's cool. the, I see the little red line is where the train is. The train and they have the water. How did we make it here? I don't know. I don't even know where we are. It's an old model. You find an old coach. It was completed in 1898. The, the, the county road. Oh, the, the first road. Yeah, the road started in flame where constructing materials was brought by the ship and ran via Pince. Chris is back in school. I have space only for my umbrella on this bench and the phone. <laughs> and then the blackboard, it's like small. I mean, it, for it's... three benches, yeah, you can see it, but if you have a school I don't with know. like 36 kids. <laughs> this is just a little representation in a museum, baby. It's not the real one. A lot of manpower was needed for the transport work, so the surest way of getting a job was to acquire a horse. However, it was not always as simple as that. Family men often lacked the means to buy a horse, so it was generally a married man that did so. I was lucky, recalls Sir George, because my father had a horse and hence I got my first job at the age of 15. The entire station area was full of rock and that was where I made my debut which the horse and cart explained Mr. Gerb. was bigger task was in the Nelly Tunnel, the longest tunnel on the Flem Railway. Rock was transported out in the tunnel using small rain-borne trolleys carrying a side of dumper. The entire line was built in the gradient, so the loaded dumpers had to be braked on the way out and hauled back by horse. 
The Nelly Tunnel, a small petrol engineer locomotive, was tried by providing sufficient power for A diesel locomotive was also tried by this to fail it because of poor ventilation. Let's see what year was this built. Year of bill 1944, weight 48 tons, delivery power 1000 HP, maximum speed 60 km per hour. It's pretty cool. It's like a motorcycle that ran on the r railway tracks. I guess that's one way to get to work. Sort of a cool scale model of the town here. In between two words was the locomotive hall of Mirdarn burned down and then stationer Steinberg sent the following telegram. This museum is pretty interesting history, so you should come visit, check it out. It's just a good place to hide from the rain. Yes, this but it only problem. takes five minutes to walk through. Yes. Wow, look at up on the Sun's mountain. It's just starting to come out just a little bit. Unbelievable. So beautiful. Can you imagine how it looks here when it's um, a sunny day? Mm. All these trees and waterfalls and rocks. This is one of the activities we looked into, the floating saunas. They're just around the corner there. They look like fun, but it was supposed to rain all day. So sort of limited what activities we booked. And a lot of them are all booked up by now. And again, it's crazy with the waterfalls. There's one, two, Three, four, five, six. I think that's another one, seven. Just seven waterfalls. Another one up there, eight. One over here, nine. It's crazy, it's just unbelievably beautiful here. So another available tour option is e-mobility. They have a little electric cars. It's probably a fun little tour to take, but I don't want to be driving one of those things if it starts pouring again. So we're waiting in line to get on the train here. It is quite the line. I guess the advantage of booking off the ship, you get your own special line to get on. One of the world's most beautiful train journeys. Flamsbona. Let's go, baby. It's about an hour up to the end of the rail line. It only stays there about five or ten minutes and then an hour back. We're leaving. There we go. One hour trip up to, I can't pronounce the name, Meredith, and then we turn around and come back. If you did take the ship excursion, they go up there, then they go to one other city, and then you take the bus back. But again, we paid like $62 each, give or take, something like that. And the excursion off the boat, I think, was $140. So. so hopefully today, that's the waterfall we're going to hike to later. All right, so a tip we read online is to take the right side of the train on the way there and the left side of the train on the way back. And so far, they're right. That was the side with all the waterfalls so far. Yeah? Ooh, there's another one.
is another just magnificent waterfall. Just a quick stop and, and that's what we're gonna do. Right, it's just a quick stop. We can get off really fast. Wow. Look at this waterfall. Beautiful. Closely, you can hear the fairies that call people in. It's a fairy tale legend here. Oh, you see her up there? She's calling you in. She's calling us in. The siren's gonna call us in, baby. I'm recording us. <laughs> it's supposed to represent. Uh, A fairy and they have if I heard the story right she has a cow tail and she turns into an old ugly lady if you whisk her away from here and then she slowly sucks your soul away the siren call oh it's just a quick stop maybe five minutes so when they stop be ready to get off is absolutely worth getting off really quick and now we are back on the train. When we reach the end of this train, Maidel is where it stops. Uh, a lot of the people on the cruise ship are changing trains and going further into the mountains, but then they're gonna take a bus back. We're just simply taking this train backwards. Yeah, babe? Yes. You ready? Yes. How, is, how do you like the train ride so far? It's a great time to visit. Too bad it's raining now. This is a beautiful view. And back in the tunnel again. <laughs> Always in the tunnel. Tunnel, tunnel, tunnel everywhere, right? There is tunnels, but we're up the tunnels too. The view is beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. So many waterfalls and those trees. It's beautiful. So you can get off during the return trip here too up the this waterfall. The name of it is Kajosofen. Kajosofen Waterfall. I am not saying that right, but it is beautiful. Right there, there's the ferry. The siren call. Oh, I'm soaking wet again. I think most of the rain here is actually spray from the waterfall and I think you're just gonna get wet if you get off the train here to check out the waterfall. Absolutely worth it. This my new hat. Somebody has a new hat on. <laughs> Your other new hat? But look at this. Go ahead. Take a picture of me with my new hat. Yeah, it doesn't even seem like, well, I guess it is raining pretty good here. It is raining a lot, yeah. but it's so beautiful here. Back in the tunnel. I do have to say one thing, it is hard to record on the train. By the time you see something, it's already gone and you're back in another tunnel. 